All right, so what is up guys? In this video, I'm going to be discussing tooltips, what they are and how to use them. And uh, let's get right into it by showing you a demonstration. So if you long hold any kind of view, it will give you this nice dialog box that says long press views to find out what they do. And you can use it on essentially any button or any view. The problem with this is that we're on a phone and this is something you would see more on a website because it's something you would hover over with your mouse. But uh, I've seen very few apps that actually use this and it is nice to have as an extra item in your app. But let me just show you how I did this real quick. And let's start by closing this and going straight to our res file and opening the layout activity underscore main XML and going to the split view. And here we're just going to import a button and we're going to add the ID of button underscore button. And then let's go to design mode and dragging. Uh, let's go back to buttons and add this floating action button. And we're going to add a picture of this Android IC launcher. And we're going to add the dependency just by clicking OK. And there we are. Okay, so we've got this over here. And we'll just place it around there. We will constrain it with the magic wand tool. And it already has an idea of floating action button. So we can go straight to our main activity next. And in our onCreate method, we're going to write if build.version, and we have to import builds. I'm going to write SDK int is more than 25. Then we are going to take our floating action button, and we're going to do dot tooltip text, and you can write in essentially any string you want. This is a floating action button, exclamation mark. And you can do the same thing for the button and write tooltip text and equals another string, which is going to be uh, you can get a longer explanation by holding the button down. It's very important you put the user through a tutorial and tell them that they can do this or else they probably will never find out. But uh, once it compiles, you should be able to get this nice app that says you can get a longer explanation by holding the button down, which is great. And if you do the same thing on the floating action button, you'll get this as a floating action button. If you just tap on them, nothing will happen, but otherwise it is good for explanations. But with that being said, uh, please let me know if there's any other tutorials you'd like me to make. I will take a look at them and I'll do my best to study it and to put a tutorial out.